Hey everybody, it's Manstrel. Today is going to be a tutorial on how to twerk, as well as some advanced twerking techniques if you already know how to and you're a pro at it. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to need the emote to wacky inflation. This looks as follows and can be acquired in the store. In the middle tab, click this filter, hit emotes in the very back. I'm hitting the right D-pad by the way, I'm going to the back. Wacky inflation for 500 silver. Not a bad deal. I mean, yes, it's money, but you're twerking, so it's worth it. Come on now. So, the basics is you need to emote. In my case, emote is the right D-pad. And then crouch with my right stick in this case. It might be B for you. It might be a keyboard. It might be a mouse. It might be anything. You're going to want to emote, cancel it with a crouch, emote, crouch, emote, crouch, and you just speed this up. Eventually you get comfortable speeding up, speeding up to where you get to this pace right here where it's the most comfortable and it looks probably the best because if you continue to speed up it becomes very, very jittery and much more difficult to do and it's not worth it. It's kind of just a spaz attack. So keep it around this speed if you need to listen. That's about the speed which you're clicking, but you guys can figure that out. This is pretty easy. Once you get it, you get it. Earlier I was showing this. You don't want to do this because um, more input time, more movement on your hands, not worth it. So keep them as close as you can. For all the pros at this, or maybe it's just too easy for you, we're going to add something to the mix. If we combine the emote Shower of Wealth. Yeah, you can see where this might be going. It is called Making It Rain As You Are Twerking. As you can see, as you can hear, the button mashing is crazy. But you're making it rain while you're twerking. If you look up, it's a little different. And that's why I'm over here by the drifter. But before I show you that, it's not only the D-pad crouch, it's also the upper d-pad and then crouch after the upper d-pad. So if I actually look up, this is what it looks like. A little different. A little different, you guys. Hopefully there's not CCTV anywhere. So anyway, if you're a pro at just crouching and twerking like this, then you can add another button intermittently not too fast or else it will spasm like this. If sometimes, if you just do the top, this is what that looks like. It's just weird. If you just do the crouch, here you go. But if you go in between, very simple, much more challenging to do because, I mean, it just takes more effort. You're going in between buttons. If you are on keyboard, I'm sure you're just doing this. If you have like a specific button you want to do just that's much easier than ooh, using one thumb going back and forth anyway that's the end of this video i have one more thing that might interest you however if and i say if you are prone to seizures and i'm not being i'm not joking i am being 100 percent serious if you are prone to seizures i recommend clicking off this video now because, once again, I am not joking, this might trigger something, and I do not want to be responsible for that. This is Bungie's fault, and we all know that. Shh, I love you, Bungie. Anyway, it goes as follows. If you use the selfie emote, you notice you zoom in, turn around, and put a thumbs up. Say hi to my boy, Drifter. He acknowledges me. Drifter's great. Save Gambit, please. What? It's got competition between, what, Gambit and Crucible? I think Gambit's probably better now. Just gonna say, anyway, we zoom in. If we crouch, we zoom out. So just like twerking, like this, if we combine, if we combine the uh, selfie emote and do the same, if we keep it at the same speed, you see the camera is kind of shaking. However, here's what happens if you hit crouch and then you emote immediately, give it a little bit of time, hit crouch, and then emote immediately. So it 
Listen to this. Kind of has that kind of pattern. But watch. Do it just a bit slower. You kind of start shaking around. Okay. This might not give you a seizure. How about if we start randomly moving the camera around? Yeah. It's interesting. The other thing you can do with the selfie is turn the camera, press another emote, and you're doing another emote. As long as it does not have any effects, it stays zoomed there. <clears throat> this is up to wherever you look at it. If you don't press anything and you go into another emote, your camera is basically zoomed in third person. Instead of zoomed out, you are you're zoomed in. If you find somebody twerking in the environment, feel free to use Gallop. Also, the selfie looks like this. If you use Gallop, you can see where this is going. Let's just assume Drifter is twerking. Yeah. So in summary, we have twerking, advanced twerking, Emote spasm. Now, keep in mind, you, only you can see this. Otherwise, the uh, they just they just see a guardian standing still, kind of jittering, but they don't see the ca the crazy camera. You have this, and then you have the gallop emote. And if you want, you can selfie and then gallop for first person. Sorry, zoomed in third person. The other thing you can do is crouch. Selfie, and now you are pretty much looking up from the floor. Turn your camera, and now it looks a little different. Trying to find the optimal angle where I'm in front. Alright. A little goofy there. So yeah, if you found anything interesting about this video, maybe you learned something, let me know. Maybe you didn't learn something, especially let me know. If you already knew you could twerk and make it rain like this or you can look up and a little different a little different over here or if you already knew that this existed maybe you saw it on reddit my other account a long time ago or maybe you knew that you can twerk and slap somebody else's twerk and maybe you knew that drifter loves me like we all love drifter Go have fun in the Crucible. Go twerk in people's faces. Go have fun out there, Guardians. Mansoor out.